تعيش كتر من ولاده تلبس بنتها من وراها اصبر للسمان يخدم زين كي بان عجبها الحرفة بالصح كي بان ما شبعها الأخرى My name is Virginie Surday or Surdej and I'm the cinematographer of uh, the Blue Kaftan directed by Mariam Tuzani. The film is uh, a love story and it's widest dimension I would say because it's a triangle but where each character will support each other in its deepest difficulties. So it's a new way to treat a triangle situation I would say and it's full of light and love. So the film tells the story of a couple and they hold a, a kaftan store in the Medina of Casablanca. It's one of the oldest Medina in Morocco. And the film concentrates in this uh, kaftan shop. The second location, I would say, is their flat. And you have a third location, where is, which is the hammam in the Medina of Casablanca. So the, the locations in this movie were very important for us because we had to so little and we had to use them again and again throughout the whole movie. So it was very hard to find them and once we found them it was very important like for me to see what were their lighting possibilities. Maria wanted the locations to be very small so that people need to be close to each other so they, they cannot escape from each other. So the locations were in the middle of the Medina, the, the streets outside were very little, not much light was step, stepping inside the locations. So for the flat, it was a beautiful flat we found on the second level. And there are a lot of stories with all the American society who is present out at the window. So there is, of course, a play between the interior and the exterior. And so for me, I mean, I needed a camera with uh, latitude and I need possibilities also to lighting because uh, it was a film I really didn't want to light from inside. I didn't want to light from top. On the same time, we wanted the film needs to be intimate, so the crew, they want an intimate crew also, not too many people. So we were really thinking, wow, how can we, can we achieve this? And in the end, we had two towers all the time on. To have more distance, to be able to light from outside to inside, we used these CRLS reflectors. And on these reflectors, we, we wanted to use initially, initially the M40 or M18. And actually, we did like such brilliant things with the M18, really. I never expected it. I could do and achieve so many different atmospheres with this light. And the film is taking place in the Medina of Casablanca, and it's a very organic uh, world. We wanted a very organic image. For each film, I really take a long time testing lenses because I love, I love to know lenses and what they are able. Here, I wanted a more vintage set, maybe that is not so even, that you have a little fall off in the focus on the edges. There was a 55 millimeter, which was my lens from a long time ago, and I knew it would be so much a film about faces, about portraits, about being close. And actually, I fell in love with his 55 millimeters. <laughs> The, I've been working with uh, Alexa for so many years, at first with the Alexa Plus, with, with the Amira, and uh, I feel very familiar with Alexa Mini, so it's like a little bit like home, I must say. Uh, I know what I can do with the sensor, I know how is it when it's rated at 1600, I know how it is when it's rated at 1000, I know if I rate it around 800, how much I can go above or less without seeing it, so just to have the perfect stop uh, to, to have the right depth of field. And I think you feel very comfortable because then you can focus on so much other things. I also, for every movie, I, I take a lot of time to research the look and to put the base of the grading on the image, like to build the right lot for the movie. And so actually I think with, uh, with your lens and with your lot, you achieve already so much. I'm very fascinated also to discover all the specifics and how already you can get the character in your image with just these first choices. I'm a fan of vintage lenses. <laughs> I like when there's not too much, you know, not so much resolution and when you have some little imperfections that give you something pictorial. For me, the grain also is very important, but this relates to the sensor. Yeah, on this film, I rated it, I think, at 1,250 to have a basic feeling of grain. And, uh, and I love it very much. I find the camera very beautiful. One of the things I like in this Ari sensor is that you have an organic feeling in the sensor. 